Okay, welcome back guys to cxcmattoos.com This is another video again from cxcmatt twitter.com All the videos on this website are free So if you guys want to watch more videos visit cxcmattoos.com Okay, let me just erase this, just give us the space here so in this video, I'm looking at some vector questions. Um, this is lesson two. I already did a video already on lesson one. Okay, and vectors. So let's do this question here. Actually, a student asked me to do um, this question for her. Okay. So, so in the diagram, OA, OA is 2A. The vector OA is 2A, the vector OB is 3A minus 2B, and the vector OC is 5A minus 6B. Express in terms of A and B as simple as possible, um, vector AB and vector BC. And C, what do your answers to part A tell you about the points A, B, C? Give a reason for your answer. Okay, well, vector AB okay, is equal to the position vector of the last minus the position vector of the first. Okay, so OB is given as 3A minus 2B, 3A minus 2B bracket uh, minus OA is 2A. Okay, so the axis simplify as possible. Um, so, so 3A minus 2A is just A. I will leave back with minus 2B. Okay, so this is a simplified um, answer for the vector AB. So the answer is equal to a minus 2b okay and if the, if the question were to ask you to write the answer in column vector form this is the same thing as 1 negative 2 okay that's if the answer if the question were to ask write the answer in column vector form that's that's that would be your answer now um let us Go ahead and do BC, vector BC. Okay, so part B, find vector BC. So vector BC is equal to the Persian vector of the last, which is OC, minus the Persian vector of the first, which is OB. Okay, OC we know is 5A minus 6B, 5A minus 6B bracket minus we know that OB OB is 3A minus 2B 3A minus 2B okay so let us simplify this so we have 5A minus 3A and we have minus 6B and minus and minus is plus so it's going to be plus 2b okay so 5a minus 3a is 2a and minus b plus 2b is minus 4b okay so the answer so the um the answer for the vector uh, BC is 2A minus 4B. Again, if the question were to ask to write this in column vector form, this will be 2 minus 4. Okay, now moving on to part C. What do your answers to part A tell you about the points A, B, and C? Give a reason for your answer. Well, first of all, there's a reason why I write it in column vector. 
um, form because if you notice that if I factor a 2 from this column vector if I factor 2 out okay so you're given 2 and negative 4 and uh, if you're to factor 2 out okay 2 into 2 1 and 2 into negative 4 is negative 2 notice that you get 2 times this um, column vector here for a b so in fact um, what it tells what it tells you that these a b and b c are in fact on a, on the same line because b c is a scalar multiple of a b okay and therefore the points a b c are actually a straight line okay a b c are on the same straight line here okay now if all the points are on the same line what what do you what do you what do you say about those points a b c we say that they are collinear okay so we say that the points a b c are collinear because they lie on the same straight line and how do you know that they lie on the same straight line because b c is a scalar multiple of a b which means that they are actually parallel vectors lying on the same um, line okay um, so that's it for this video um, if you guys have any questions regard to this video you can leave a comment if not remember it's a good idea to subscribe to the video or to the channel because whenever you subscribe YouTube will send you an email notifying you um, whenever I upload new videos or making any changes to the video to the uh, video or to the channel okay so that's it for this video